hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to learn how to create this creative text animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin but with the help of simple and cool tips and tricks inside of after effects and if you want to learn more about motion graphics and other stuff in advance then don't forget to check out my yodemi courses all links are available in the description and you can join motion pro membership on this channel which is just for 59 rupees it would be a support for this channel and you'll get some extra tutorials related to motion graphics blender after effects and cinema 4d as well and if you're new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any much more time let's get started <laughs> So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition and we are going to call it as main animation like we always do. Width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30, duration 1 minute long and background color is black. And simply hit OK. Then go to choose grid and guide option and simply hit on titles affection. Now I got one quote related to motion graphics from uh, chat GPT. So I'll simply paste that quote over here and let's uh, change the font of this one uh, just for now the quote is moving ideas turns truly creative okay out of this quote i am going to animate this creative text first and then we will animate this uh, other words so uh, let's bring this quote over here just for the reference okay now let's type our first word which is creative okay and over here let's select this and we are going to change the font of this one i don't want this font okay uh, so let's try to select something else okay let's choose normal font not this one okay I'm going to select this font and press Ctrl Alt Home. Let's go to the Align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically. Press S for scaling option and let's scale this size. Let's select this font and press Ctrl Alt Home. Okay, and now first thing first, we need to animate this text. So first of all, select this text and go to the paragraph menu and make sure that you are at center text. Okay, because we want center text only. Let's decrease the scale. Okay. Now after that go to the animate and choose position first and let's change the position downwards. Go to the range selector and create one keyframe at the start. Then go somewhere around 1.15 frames and let's make this value somewhere around 100. Now select those keyframe and let's hit F9. Go to the graph editor, right click and make sure to choose edit speed graph. Select this graph by holding shift, move one handle over here and move one handle over here. Okay, so obviously you will get this kind of animation. There is nothing new. Along with this, uh, I'm going to choose add property and I'm going to choose tracking. And let's decrease the tracking amount over here. Similarly, add properties and choose opacity and we will reduce the opacity. So now if you see, we are getting this kind of animation. Now let's somewhere around after this uh, let's go for see this animation take a gap of few frames then let's minimize this animator select this text go to the animate and choose uh, uh, this time tracking only okay and we are going to create one keyframe at tracking amount uh, not this tracking type okay go few frame forward and let's increase the create this text go few frame create one keyframe then go after few frame forwards over here select this first keyframe hit ctrl c ctrl v like that then select those keyframe and let's hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move one handle over here and move one handle over here so if you see this now we'll get this then this and then this okay let's hit u first this now let's select those keyframes and let's try to bring this somewhere around over here like that then select those keyframes uh, let's bring this over here okay so if you see this entire animation we'll get this and then this 
now along with this uh, and what we can do over here is let's select this creative word and uh, let's change the color of this one to yellow and hit ctrl d and change the color of this one to pink now let's try to bring this downwards over here and press s and let's decrease the scale of it and let's try to bring this over here then select this hit ctrl d let's try to bring this over here press s and let's increase the scale of this like this okay now let's uh, enable this and this icon select this text over here and go to the rectangle tool and we are going to create this kind of or let's try to create somewhere around from this okay like this text okay then for this one select this let's uh, increase the scale little bit and let's create something around like this okay so if you see this now we are getting something like this okay but over here one problem is that we need to increase this mask uh, size so let's select this and let's bring this over here similarly bring this over here same, same for this one select this let's bring this over here and let's bring this over here okay like this then select these two hit ctrl d and let's try to bring this downwards select this one and let's try to bring this over here like this okay and press m and let's delete this and let's uh, try to bring this over here like that select this uh, and try to create one mask along like this okay then select this one let's uh, try to bring this over here press m and let's delete this okay bring this over here then select this and let's move this over here like this okay now after this hit u uh, and press uh, m over here hit m so we can see all the mask options and let's add 10 mask feathers to each and every one select this one as well go inside this and add 10 mask feathers and hit u to minimize it select this as well hit m go to the mask properties and let's choose 10 also go to the mask one and let's choose 10 okay so now if you see this animation we are getting this kind of stuff over here okay now if you want then you can adjust their position a little bit downward as well as from uh, not this one uh, but this one okay over here now select these two layers which are this one go to the not two but four layers go to the character choose black color in stroke add a white color stroke okay and now uh, let's go somewhere around five seconds let's select these two move this over here and move this over here go over here select this move this over here and move this over here okay and we'll get something like this first we'll get this we'll get this now after this uh, i'm going to select right click new and create one null object select all of these layers and i'll make it apparent with this null okay and let's even disable this all options and now we have to type choose this moving uh, ideas done truly to create you text so let's uh, see which font we choose we choose this font i'll copy this font i'm going to select this text layer and i'll hit ctrl v to paste it and i'm going to use let's select this we need regular version of this font so let's select this go over here and we have to choose regular go to the align tab align horizontally and press s for scaling option and scale it somewhere around like this okay let's scale it like this now let's uh, enable this text and go to the mask options and we are going to mask this creative word and choose inverted mask okay like that over here 
now we will select this creative text and i'm going to select this animator one and i'll hit ctrl c to copy let's select this text over here and i'll hit ctrl v and uh, let's go inside this uh, text animator one and over here range selector advanced and we are going to choose words so if you see this now we are getting something like this but uh, over here if you see uh, we don't want this uh, tracking so what we can do is that uh, we will delete this tracking amount or we can make this tracking amount zero okay so we will get only this animations now i want this animation should be after this text okay so uh, let's uh, select this null object press s create one keyframe then press p for position create one keyframe and hit u let's go somewhere around five seconds and let's decrease the scale of it somewhere around like this and let's uh, move this over here then uh, change the position of this one somewhere around over here like that okay similarly select this text and this null object uh, and try to adjust the position properly like this okay as well this null object so if you see we are getting something like that similarly at the same point i'm going to select these two text i'll press p for position to create one keyframe select these two text as well press p for position create one keyframe as well as so select this four layers and press t for opacity to create another keyframes now hit u let's go somewhere around at this point i'm going to select this text over here which is this one i'll bring this at the center select this i'll bring this at the center select this i'll bring this at the center select this i'll bring this as well as the center then select these two layers let's change the opacity to zero select these two layers and uh, bring the opacity to zero okay and hit u select this yellow color layer and we need to bring this at the top now i'm going to select this null object hit u so we can see this keyframe i'm going to select this four layer and i'm going to press p for position as well as i'm going to press shift t so i can see only opacity keyframes now we have this keyframes select those keyframes and uh, hit f9 to easy ease out go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here and move this handle over here okay and let's make this fit so now if you see we are gonna get something like this now let's see this moving text over here which is this one it should be start to getting animated somewhere around at this point okay when this creative word is over here i want this text should start to get animated like this okay and when you reach the final uh, point which is at this time i mean around five seconds you need to select this text layer and in parenting you have to make it apparent with this null object okay so what will happen along with this you will get this animation okay and you can try to bring this animation somewhere around at this point and you can hit u you can move this keyframe a little bit over here so the last world will get animated a little bit easily or uh, instead of that what you can do let's enable this uh, layer and hit m and we can delete this mask along with that we can delete this creative word as well okay and uh, then we can adjust the position of this over here okay and hit u so now you can see we are getting this animation but along with this we are getting this text as well now after this press ctrl y to create one black background bring this at the downwards and now if you see first we will get this and then we are gonna get this okay and hit n uh, then right click new and create one adjustment layer and just like always we do we can easily apply tint effect and we can swap these colors the way we want so as you guys can see this is how we can create this kind of creative text animation